What if everything you know about AI language models just became obsolete overnight? Today, we're unpacking a genuine game changer, Mercury, the diffusion-based language model that's processing text 10 times faster than anything we've seen before. Those 1,000 tokens per second aren't just numbers. They represent a fundamental shift in how AI generates text. But here's what's keeping the AI community buzzing. Is Mercury sacrificing quality for speed? Can its parallel generation approach truly replace the sequential methods we've relied on? Even AI pioneer Andre Karpathy has taken notice of this revolutionary approach. So whether you're a developer wondering if your current models are about to be rendered obsolete, or just keen to stay ahead of the AI curve, stick around. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why Mercury might be the technology that reshapes the entire language model landscape. Let's dive straight into what Mercury actually is. Imagine traditional AI models like ChatGPT as writers who craft sentences one word at a time. They think about each word, choose it carefully, then move to the next one. Now picture Mercury as an artist who sketches the entire paragraph at once with rough strokes, then gradually refines every part simultaneously until the whole text becomes clear. This is the essence of diffusion-based language models. While traditional large language models generate text token by token in sequence, Mercury creates a rough draft of the entire response and then refines it all at once. The result? Generation speeds exceeding 1,000 tokens per second on standard NVIDIA H100 GPUs, speeds that typically require specialized hardware like Grok or Cerebrus accelerators. But why does this matter? Think about real-time applications like customer service chatbots or code generation assistants. When a customer is waiting for support or a developer needs quick code suggestions, those seconds add up dramatically. What if your AI assistant could respond as quickly as a human colleague? That's the promise Mercury brings to the table. The evidence for this 10 times speed claim comes directly from Inception Lab's benchmarks, where they measured Mercury against speed-optimized models like GPT-40 Mini and Claude 3.5 Haiku. What's remarkable isn't just the raw speed, but the fact that Mercury achieves this without dedicated speed-focused hardware. But I can hear you asking, surely there must be a catch. What's being sacrificed for this speed? This is where things get truly interesting. According to early testing, Mercury isn't just fast. It's maintaining comparable quality to traditional models. The diffusion approach doesn't seem to compromise accuracy or coherence. But why? The secret lies in how diffusion models work. Rather than predicting probability distributions for each next token, Mercury leverages a coarse-to-fine approach that allows for massive parallelization. The model starts with noise and gradually refines it into coherent text, similar to how image diffusion models like Midjourney transform random noise into detailed images. Think about it like this. Traditional models are like building a house brick by brick, while Mercury is 3D printing the entire structure at once. So what are the real-world applications where this speed advantage matters most? The most obvious is anywhere real-time interaction is crucial. Customer support systems that need to respond instantly. Code completion tools where developers need immediate suggestions. Content creation platforms requiring rapid iteration. Embedded AI in devices with limited computing power. Enterprise automation requiring high-throughput processing. But perhaps the most exciting application is one we haven't even conceived yet. When technology undergoes a paradigm shift, it often enables entirely new use cases that weren't possible before. What could you build if your AI suddenly responded 10 times faster? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. What would you create with an AI that responds instantly? Now let's address the elephant in the room. Is this truly revolutionary or just an incremental improvement? When Andre Karpathy, former director of AI at Tesla and a respected figure in the AI community, calls Mercury's approach an intriguing departure from the usual auto-regressive techniques, we should pay attention. This isn't just another small step, it represents a fundamental rethinking of how language models generate text. 
But Mercury isn't alone in this speed revolution. As we mentioned earlier, Hunan Turbo S from Tencent is also making waves with its hybrid Mamba Transformer architecture. While Mercury takes a completely different approach with diffusion, Hunan Turbo S combines the efficiency of Mamba, which excels with long sequences, with the context-capturing strengths of Transformers. So how do these two fast models compare? While both aim to solve the speed problem, they do so differently. Mercury uses parallel generation through diffusion. Hunan Turbo S uses a hybrid architecture that reduces computational complexity. The key difference? Mercury completely reimagines how text is generated while Hunan Turbo S optimizes the existing approach. It's like comparing a new type of electric engine to a highly refined combustion engine. Both can be fast, but they represent different philosophies. Could diffusion-based models become the new standard? History suggests that when a technology offers an order of magnitude improvement, it tends to eventually dominate. Just as transformers replaced RNNs, we might see diffusion models replace traditional auto-regressive models, at least for applications where speed is critical. However, there's one crucial question that remains. Will adoption be immediate or gradual? That likely depends on how easily Mercury can be integrated into existing systems. Inception Labs claims Mercury is available as a drop-in replacement for existing models, offering both API access and on-prem deployment. If true, this could accelerate adoption dramatically. But technology transition is rarely instantaneous. Remember when GPT models first emerged? Many companies continued using older models for years afterward. The same pattern might repeat with diffusion models, starting with speed-critical applications before gradually expanding to other use cases. So what should you do with this information? If you're developing AI applications where response time matters, Mercury deserves your attention. If you're an AI enthusiast, this represents one of the most interesting architectural shifts in recent years. And if you're simply a user of AI tools, expect the experience to become noticeably more responsive in the coming months. The AI landscape is shifting beneath our feet, and Mercury's diffusion approach might just be the earthquake that changes everything. Ten times faster isn't just a performance improvement, it's a threshold that makes entirely new applications possible. What do you think? Is Mercury truly the future of language models or will traditional approaches find ways to catch up? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for today's deep dive into Mercury's groundbreaking diffusion approach to language models. If you found this analysis valuable, hit that subscribe button and join the AI Uplift community for more cutting edge AI insights. And don't forget to ring the notification bell to stay updated whenever we cover the next major AI breakthrough. Until next time, keep looking upward, because the AI revolution is just getting started.